Hi folks, it's Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Sprinter Campfire Edition 26RB. It's a great rear bath model. Let's go ahead and start right up here on the front. We'll make our way back and then head on in. So one of the first things you'll notice, this right here, which of course is your power tongue jack. This really simplifies the process of loading and unloading your trailer to the tow vehicle. Just makes it a lot easier with the touch of a button. Also, if you are hooking up or disconnecting at night, you will see there's a light on here as well in order to aid in the visibility. Right behind that is your propane tank cover. You can see here, a uh, nice large 30 pound propane tank cover. And inside you have two 30 pound propane tanks. Most manufacturers will give you the 30 pound cover up. They only give you 20 pound tanks. Sprinter, make sure you go ahead and get the 30 pound tanks. So you have 60 pounds of propane for those extended camping ventures. Right behind that is a box or a uh, rails for your battery box. And then right here is some diamond plating. That way rocks or debris that get thrown up by the tow vehicle will hit this diamond plating and not scratch up your nice fiberglass front end. We come around to the side here, you can see the pass-through storage. It does have magnetic latches on there, makes it nice and easy. Then as you poke your head in, you'll see plenty of room in there. Um, you know, it is nice and finished off. You have a light up here as well. And if you do want a TV up front, you do have connections in here to go ahead and hook that TV up as well. But as you will see, more than likely you'll hook it up in the back and I'll show you why in just a moment. Large power awning on this camper, which does uh, span over the door space here. Just touch of a button that rolls out, touch of a button rolls back in. Very easy to use, one person operation. Also, if you look at the heads of the awning, you will see that you have speakers built into them. So that's cool too, because when it rolls out, the, the speakers will be pointed down. That way the music is playing down on your campsite, not blasting out at your neighbors. Also, if you want light at night, that's not a problem. There's an LED light strip right underneath the awning. That way you don't have to get there and hang up all of your Christmas lights. Getting into this coach is very easy. You can see you have three steps here. Uh, they do have aluminum steps on them this year, which I really like. You know, that way they're not gonna rust and corrode as easy as your standard steps. Also, they do have the, or the uh, rubber strips on the aluminum there, so you get nice grip. You don't have to worry about slipping and falling, especially after a rain or morning dew. Uh, and then, of course, the easy grab handle as well here. This is foldable, but this also aids in getting into the coach. Right here is a spray port, nice and easy. Just pop that open. Uh, uh, you can go ahead and put the hose in there, that way you have an outside shower. That's great, it's on the door side, you don't see that very often. Most of the time it's on the off door side or sometimes behind the coach, but it's nice having it right there on the door side. You take a look at the uh, nice alloy rims, that way they're not going to rust or corrode nearly as easy on you. And then right here is the uh, electrical outlet, so if you do want to plug anything in, like a blender, electric griddle, you know you want to set up a table or something out here, you can certainly do that. As we take a step back, one of my favorite parts is this right back here, you know, I love having an outside kitchen on a couple's coach. A lot of the time you don't get this, you have to go to a bunk model, but I love having it right here. And it's a very large outside kitchen, you have great storage space on both sides as well as right here, so if you want to store, you know, cups out here, paper plates, you know, this is large enough that if you're one, you want an outside bar, you can go ahead and put some bottles in here as well, plenty of storage space. And then right here is your pull out kitchen, just like that. Oh, this will lock in right here on both sides. This has prep space right there, which is fantastic. And then right here also, you have the two burner cooktop. And last but not least in the outside kitchen right over there, this is your mini fridge, of course, to put all your condiments and beverages. Now there is a light, they actually have LED uh, strips that run in the sides here. So when you turn that on at night, it gives it a really cool accent. That way if you have your TV, you know, mounted right there, you kind of have a cool backlight on it. But this is, you know, my opinion in this coach, you can set up some chairs right here, watch that TV. This is where you're gonna want it uh, more than likely instead of up front. Then as you come around to the back side, of course, our bumper here, mounted on that bumper is a spare tire with cover. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, it's great knowing you have it right back here. And the cover is going to make sure it'll be in good shape, protect it from the elements. Uh, satellite cable prep right there. If you notice this guy, that's because this has power jacks as well, power stabilizing jacks. Uh, so again, that's going to be an added feature for you, just really simplifying the process. Then as we move forward a little bit more, right here is your uh, 30 amp 
power supply just pulls right out. Then next to that is the black tank flush valve. If you're not familiar with the black tank flush, what that does for you, is instead of having to drag the hose all the way through the camper and putting it down the toilet to wash out your black tank, with this guy, just take the hose, screw it right in. That black tank has sprayers built in. It'll go ahead and wash it out for you. One last thing I do want to mention before we head in, when I talked about the power jacks, inside they has a remote. Uh, it's what they call the Camp Easy system. That remote will control your power uh, stabilizing jacks. It'll control your power awning, as well as your LED lights and the slides. So very cool. Makes it a lot easier. So when you're sitting out here setting up camp, you want to make sure you're not going to run into a tree that's over here. You can go ahead and open that slide up and watch it right on the remote. Very cool. But that'll wrap it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Sprinter Campfire Edition 26RB. This particular model is in the pumice interior. Let's go ahead and start off on the kitchen here. So you will see they give you good prep space. You have this extra little area right here as well as right here behind the kitchen sink. And they also have a big sink top cover for the sink itself. Now, of course, the sink top cover can be removed, flipped over, and used as a cutting board if you so desire. The sink is a double bowl sink, larger bowl on the left, smaller on the right here, then a high rise faucet in order to aid you in doing dishes. Now if you take a look underneath, you get a lot of storage underneath this countertop too. Starting right over here, we can go ahead and open that up. You can see right in there, some good storage as soon as you walk in. And then right here at floor level, you have an additional pull out drawer. Also around to this side, two full extension ball bearing drawers right here. As you can see, nice and long, perfect for some of your longer utensils like spatulas and serving spoons. And then underneath the sink, you have another area there, uh, perfect place for a trash can. Now rounding out the countertop, right over here is your Atwood three burner cooktop. The front one here is high output, great flame control in the Atwood, stainless steel front, and if you take a look right there, of course, is your oven in case you want to do some baking. Right underneath the oven here, you have a huge drawer. This is perfect for pots and pans, plenty large. I love that they went ahead and put that in there. Now if we jump back up top here, again, you know, kind of going with the stainless look. You have the stainless steel hood here with a light and fan, microwave right there, excellent storage up here. If you take a look, pantry storage, you do have three areas you can access it. These two doors and then one on the end. So if you need to access it right as soon as you come in, you know, great place for the stuff uh, like your s'more making stuff, graham crackers, marshmallows, make it nice and easy to get, uh, get to. Big window here as well, lets in a lot of natural light. Then LED lights throughout the coach. Uh, those are phenomenal because not only do those uh, you know, provide nice bright light, but also they put out a fraction of the heat that your standard bulbs do, and uh, they're gonna be a fraction of the power draw. So if you are running off battery power, if you don't have shore power, you will truly appreciate having LED lights. As far as plug-ins, if you need to plug in a blender or coffee maker, you'll also notice right under here, you have those two additional plug-ins, so you can do that. Rounding out the kitchen, right over here is the Dometic upgraded seven cubic foot fridge freezer combo. You can see you have plenty of space. I like that right up here, uh, they put a guard so it guards the fins. You don't have to worry about a gallon of milk or anything being up there and getting cut by those fins. Uh, this one does run off of both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over for you. Then over to the side here, take a look at that. Great additional pantry space. I love that they put this in here. Nice and deep, you know, kind of like at home. It's great to have a pantry and where you can put most of your food items. Now in the back is the bathroom. It's a rear bath model, which means you get a huge bathroom. Take a look at this. So right over to the side here is your foot flush lever toilet. And then right above, uh, you can see your huge linen closet, plenty of room for towels, everything else you wanna put in there. Over to the side, here's Neo Angle shower. Uh, you, can, you will notice the shelving in there, the hand wand skylight up top, and the doors themselves I love. Because the way they close, they stay in the track, meaning all the water stays in the shower pan, not all over the floor. And then next to that is your sink top and vanity, big countertop, great storage underneath, storage up above in the mirror medicine cabinet. Then take a look at this, huge wardrobe space. This is massive, it spans all the way the entire length of that bathroom. So that way any clothes you have, you wanna put in there, you can easily hang those up. The other reason I like that, when you have the clothes in there, you're getting out of the shower, you can grab your clothes, change right in the bathroom 
bathroom, which is phenomenal. Now, as we come out of the bathroom, we can take a look right over here. Uh, this, of course, is our super slide. Right here is the dinette. The dinette is nice and large. Four people can easily sit here, have a meal together, play, play a game together, and this does drop down into an additional bed if you need that sleeping space. Also, if you have to work on a tablet or laptop, you will notice there's a plug-in right over here where you can go ahead and plug that in. The other thing you'll notice is this right here. This is really cool, something that Sprinter puts in. That's a floor light. You can turn those on and off, but they're excellent at night. So that way you can turn those on. You know, it's not as bright as a, a normal night light, but it just kind of lights up the floor. So if you have to get up in the middle of the night and use the bathroom, you can see where you're going without tripping all over the camper. So a really nice extra feature. Right over here is the couch, extremely comfortable couch to sit in. This is what they call a tri-fold sofa. You can see the extra cushion right back here that folds down. Uh, the thing I love about tri-folds, they're comfortable to sit in and more importantly they're comfortable to sleep in. It's not like your traditional pullout where you have a big bar in, the, in your back or an air mattress that's going to deflate on you in the middle of the night. So you know this is definitely the preferable style of sofa in an RV. So I love that they went ahead and put that there. Uh, great lighting all the way around, everything from the windows as well as your bank of LED lights right up top here. Now on a rainy day, you're probably going to want to watch TV. That's not a problem either. Sitting on the couch, you, right here you can enjoy your 32-inch TV. Uh, you have superior sound quality with the sound bar right here as well, and that is Bluetooth capable. Then if we scoot up top, you'll see the extra storage here. They have the decorative glass, which is really neat, but you can open that up and see that you have good storage up there. You have a cutout right here as well, perfect for any auxiliary components. You'll see you have an additional plug in there too. And then again, additional storage down below. All right, let's head on into the bedroom. So a couple quick things I love about the bedroom. Uh, one, if you take a look at both sides of the bed here, you have great storage. So not only do you have that huge wardrobe in the back, but you have these very tall mirrored wardrobes here with great hanging space, shelf up on the top, and a pull-out drawer, uh, drawer down below. Now when the drawer is in, that gives you shelf space, perfect for plugging in a cell phone. Uh, as you do have electrical outlets, which are going to be tucked right in next to the bed here. Or if you have a CPAP machine, you can go ahead and put that right there, run your electric right up there. Uh, so I love that they went ahead and gave you that space. Also, you'll see you have reading lights in case you want to read at night. Additional storage across the top. These are strut supported, so one hand operation, very easy to get into. And then if you are one that wants to watch TV, that's not a problem either. Right there you can see the TV hookups, uh, so that way you can go ahead and watch a show before bed. And speaking of bed, of course, right here it is, queen size bed. This does lift up. Um, you do have storage underneath. And this is a 60 by 80 residential queen, which is very nice. That's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Again, this is a 2017 Sprinter Campfire Edition 26 RB. It's a phenomenal couples coach. You have the huge outside kitchen, the big rear bath with the wardrobe in there. It's just one you have to come and take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the section below. Or you can always give myself, Ian Bates, or call here at American RV and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. If you do have particular questions on the specs of this unit or if you're looking for the latest price and availability, I recommend you visit our website which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Thanks again for watching, I'm Ian Baker and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.